To travel to distant stellar systems, or exoplanets, we need to move faster, way faster. With our current rocket's propulsion systems, it's impossible. However, now that our technology is advancing, we might just speed up to achieve near light speed. One of the disadvantages of current propulsion systems are fuel tanks. With chemical rockets in use today, we would need very large fuel tanks as big as even Earth to explore further. To travel in space, fuel is obviously needed. And when we want to go faster, we need plenty of it. However, space is perfect place to dig it up or just catch it. Boussard Ramjet is a theoretical concept for a spacecraft propulsion that would require no onboard fuel, which allows it to be lighter while generating a constant acceleration at low velocities, as the mass of the vehicle itself does not change as onboard fuel is burned away. To do this, the Ramjet exploits the fact that the large spaces between stars are never really empty. They are a brine of dangerous radiation and cosmic matter like dust and hydrogen atoms. This concept is perfect candidate for near light speed travel. So how it works? As the craft moves through space, it collects this interstellar gas with huge magnetic scoop and collectors, which are located at the front of the ship. The collectors would generate a magnetic field that reaches far past the physical extent of the hydrogen scoop. The scoop itself would require less material and could be designed as a mesh instead of a heavier solid. After collecting interstellar fuel, hydrogen goes to fusion reactor at the middle of the ship. Reaction is based on proton-proton fusion. Alternatively, for better efficiency, catalytic nuclear reaction chain, or CNO, is preferred. CNO cycle occurs in stars more massive than the Sun and is nine orders of magnitude faster than proton-proton fusion. The high-speed exhaust from the fusion reaction would be expelled out from the back of the spacecraft, propelling it forward. The continuous cycle of collecting, compressing, and fusing interstellar hydrogen theoretically allows for sustained acceleration, potentially enabling the spacecraft to approach near light speed after accumulation of thrust. However, this spacecraft was not yet practically tested due to number of obstacles. Once the ship is moving, there is the problem of powering the magnetic fields and the lasers needed to ionize and gather the nearby hydrogen. Also designing the scoop itself is complicated. Its radius for achieving interstellar travel might need to be on the order of thousands of kilometers. And while it's an essential part of a traditional Bossard Ramjet, the hydrogen scoop might also act as a form of drag against the interstellar medium, potentially slowing the spacecraft down. So for now, Bossard Ramjet realization awaits further technological advancements beyond our current capabilities. Although what can be executed right now is clicking on subscribe button. Okay, let's agree that catching space fuel is fascinating and practical, but what if we actually do use fuel, and really powerful one? This brings us to the next propulsion, which is highly questionable, but not less practical, antimatter engine. Antimatter, an exotic and rare form of matter, stands as the opposite counterpart to normal matter, possessing identical mass but opposite charge and subatomic properties. When antimatter particles encounter normal matter, they undergo annihilation, resulting in a release of energy at the speed of light. This collision produces an explosive reaction, emitting pure radiation and leaving behind subatomic particles. The allure lies in the fact that 100% of the mass of both matter and antimatter is converted into energy during the annihilation process. As a result, antimatter-matter propulsion emerges as a revolutionary concept promising unparalleled efficiency in space travel. Even more, when matter and antimatter collide, the resulting energy release dwarfs that of chemical energy sources, such as hydrogen and oxygen combustion used by spacecraft like the Space Shuttle, by a staggering factor, approximately 10 billion times bigger release. In the early stages of antimatter propulsion systems, a spacecraft equipped with an antimatter engine could achieve speeds reaching 72 million miles per hour, approximately 10% of the speed of light. This represents a remarkable leap in propulsion capabilities. However, the true promise of antimatter matter propulsion lies in its potential for near light speed travel. As technological advancements continue to unfold, the trajectory of antimatter propulsion systems points toward the realization of speeds that can get us to other stellar systems and exoplanets in less time and would even allow for return trip. 
While the prospect of an antimatter-powered engine is enticing, the practical challenges loom large. Antimatter is an exceedingly rare and expensive substance due to its volatile nature. It obliterates upon contact with matter. The production of antimatter is an intricate and demanding process, limited to only a few specialized laboratories, including CERN, where it can be successfully generated, but only in trace amounts. The storing also poses yet another problem. Despite the formidable obstacles, the idea of an antimatter spacecraft has not been declared impossible. Ongoing studies suggest that NASA may be on the cusp of a breakthrough, with the potential to develop an antimatter-powered spacecraft within a few decades. This innovation could revolutionize space exploration, dramatically reducing fuel costs and unlock new frontiers. Next type of propulsion is currently under testing and is set to launch within this century. Laser sail propulsion, a revolutionary concept similar to solar sails, relies on a thin reflective sail that is pushed not by the sun, but by a powerful laser beam. The distinguishing advantage lies in the absence of a traditional energy source, or reactive mass for propulsion, offering a promising alternative for interstellar travel. Unfortunately, this propulsion system is suitable for only small research probes, and not for manned missions. For optimal efficiency, a laser push sail requires a large diameter beam to minimize diffraction, ensuring that a significant portion of the beam interacts with the sail. Additionally, the spacecraft must possess robust pointing stability capabilities, allowing the sail to be tilted rapidly to track the center of the laser beam. A fascinating extension of this technology involves using laser systems to propel much smaller sail streams. These miniature spacecrafts are comparable in size to cell phones. Unlike traditional rockets, burdened by the mass of carried propellant, laser-propelled sails offer a lightweight solution potentially reaching significantly higher speeds and exploring more distant destinations. In an ideal scenario, near light speed is possible. One project using laser sail is in the development already, called the Breakthrough Starshot. A $100 million project unveiled in 2016 envisions swarms of microchip-sized spacecraft propelled by extraordinarily thin and reflective sails towards our nearest stellar system. These sails are powered by the most potent lasers ever constructed, with the goal of achieving speeds up to 20% of the speed of light, enabling a journey to Alpha Centauri in approximately 20 years. One of the breakthrough aspects of laser sail propulsion is its scalability. A laser array can launch multiple probes, forming a fleet of tiny spacecraft. Each probe, equipped with different instruments, could explore various aspects of a destination, enhancing the scientific yield of interstellar missions. Nevertheless, two critical challenges stand out. The risk of space debris and micrometeoroid collisions threatening delicate sails, and the need for stable and efficient laser power systems. To address these concerns, advanced shielding is crucial for protection against collisions, while innovations in laser technology are essential for maintaining precise and sustained power delivery. In an ideal future scenario, an array of high-powered lasers would be constructed in space. Nanotechnology-based spacecraft attached to thin, light, highly reflective sails would weigh in at a mere gram. The laser array would then systematically accelerate each nanocraft towards its interstellar destination, which will be gathering information during its journey. Upon reaching the destination, the spacecraft would transmit valuable data back to Earth marking a transformative approach to interstellar exploration with unprecedented speed and efficiency. All of these propulsion systems are opening doors for interstellar travel, enabling us to research distant systems and then lead manned missions for exploration. Either be it fast journey to solar systems, planets or moons, or even the Alpha Centauri,